Oh, hey everyone, I'm Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. So Playmobil is expanding their licenses and they are now offering the 18 van inspired from the classic TV series from the 1980s. This set includes not only the van, but the four main characters from the show, Hannibal, B.A., Faceman, and Crazy Murdoch, which you see on the bottom right there. The artwork on the box is phenomenally done, really gives you a good look at everything inside. It features the 18 logo, the Playmobil logo, the amount of pieces that are inside the box, 69 pieces, so it's not too many. The set is also numbered 70750, and right next to that, it says 5-99, indicating that this set is for uh, kids of all ages, from uh, ages 5 through 99. So if you have a kid five and up or up to 99 years old, this is definitely for them. Side of the box gives you a look, additional artwork there. And the other side gives you an even better look at some of the characters. Well, all four of the main characters, which you see there. And of course, the back gives you a look at some of the features, which you see there. Obviously, the back door is open. And that's a look at inside the van there. BA working on the van. And also, the top of the box gives you a look at all the parts that can open up from the van, which is a pretty neat addition. And on the left is the same image as the front of the box. Also, big shout out and thank you to Playmobil for sending the set along for review. Greatly appreciate it. Inside the box, there are several pieces inside. Here is a look at the figures. The figures just are loose fitting in here. They're not connected to this part of the box. So they do move around inside the box. But here's a look at this neat little display that they did showcasing each of the figures, which again includes Hannibal, B.A. Baracus, Faceman, and Murdoch. Also, here's a look at the van. The van comes as shown inside the box with very nicely done base there. Just come out. It's also inside this bag for some protection. None of the packaging you necessarily need to keep, so you could just go ahead and recycle that. And just to show you guys the instructions, Here's a look at the instruction book here. The set is numbered again, 7007, excuse me, 0750. And here's a look at the back of that. The instructions, pretty much straightforward, but first let's take a look at some of the information inside the book. This is written in various languages. I like how they included the sock puppet for Murdoch that's inspired from at least one episode from the entire series. Crazy Man Murdoch uses a sock to uh, speak and drive BA crazy. So there's a warning, choking hazard, not for children under three. Just be aware of that. Each of the figures come with accessories, which are inside that long black box. So you're going to need to open that and begin construction. And the second part, you would be working on the van. So here's a look step by step. This is all pretty much straightforward. The van, for the most part, at least on the outside, is already put together. So you really don't need to worry about that. You'll also be applying some labels, which are right here. A lot of the assembly has the smaller parts. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now is assemble this, and let's take a closer look. 
So I went ahead and assembled the van and here's a look at the complete assembly. But first let's take a look at the figures as well as some of the accessories there. There are more accessories that are connected inside the vehicle. So we're gonna be taking a closer look at that as well. BA comes with an assortment of tools to, to, to fix up the van. And these are all cast in light gray plastic there. There's also a toolbox, two containers of milk with a label applied to it. You just put that around and these are identical. Stick of dynamite, which is right here. Any one of these figures can hold it. And two walkie talkies, one is inside the van, the other is right here. So here's a look at the figures, including Hannibal, B.A. Baracus, Faceman, and Murdoch. They're all done in the standard Playmobil style and given nicely done paint applications. The likeness is not actor-based, but again, in the Playmobil style. So I think you guys would definitely know what to expect as far as that. B.A. is nicely accessorized. Most of the chains are painted on there, with the exception of this one that you stick on. Face. And Crazy Man Murdoch comes with a hat, as well as the sock he uses to mess around upset B.A. Baracus. Sock is just removable, as shown. And here's a look at him without it. Hat is also removable, but his hair would look like that, so you may want to leave that on. And there's a look at the back. Here's your in-hand look at the van. The van, very nicely done. It pays a great tribute to the classic TV series. It's cast in black, dark gray, and red deco. And the size is definitely appropriate for the scale. Figures can sit inside the front and back, which is nicely done. Some of these are labels, such as the license plate that you apply on yourself as well as the front headlights there. So various parts of this can be removed, including the top, which you see here. The door pushes out. There are no doors for the front passenger or driver side for some reason, but there is a hole right here on both sides, which I triple check the instructions and nothing snaps in there. So I'm a little uh, confused as far as that, but this part comes right off, which you see here. And let's take a closer look. Some drink holders, steering wheel right there. Steering wheel does not move. And while I am holding this, let's take a look at inside here. You see it has three seats right there, which is pretty cool. And inside here, I said there were some accessories. And of course the back opens up. So some of the accessories are hanging, which you see there, binoculars, the other walkie talkie, and a flashlight. It also has some slides. And I think last time we saw something like this, I'm pretty sure it was with Ghostbusters. And these pull out right here. Let's just pull these out so you guys can see that as shown. And there is the other one. 
this one is identical to the one already up on top there of the A-Team van. Put that back in there. So here's a look at the other side. You'll also notice that there is a tank right here with air to fill up the tires. This tank is removable. Just basically pull that up. And there you go. That was not supposed to happen, but okay. So here's a look at the tank, which you see here, some labels already applied. The van is capable of holding all four of the figures. And as you can see, Mr. T and Hannibal are in the front there. And Faceman and Murdoch are in the back. You also have an additional seat right there in front of Murdoch. Here's a look at the A-Team holding several accessories, including Mr. T with the tank to working on the front there. Faceman is holding the dynamite. Hannibal at Walkie Talkie, and of course, Murdoch has his sock there. Here's another shot of the team, this time with Mr. T with his tool chest and various tools that he comes with. And you see Hannibal and Murdoch right there in the passenger and driver's seat. And of course, Faceman is standing right there. Overall, I am loving the set. Playmobil did a fantastic job, especially on the van and the figures. A-Team fans are definitely going to want to pick this up. There aren't too many options for a complete A-Team with the van out there in the toy industry. So this definitely fills a lot of void and it's also compatible with other Playmobil sets. They've done Scooby-Doo, Back to the Future, and various other licenses in recent years. So this definitely fits in with the overall vibe of what they're doing. I'm very happy with how this came out. Again, definitely recommended. I think uh, 18 fans, fans of uh, 80s nostalgia are definitely going to want to have this. Thanks again to Playmobil for sending along for review. I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more news and reviews and coverage.